This tutorial will explain how to get a bill of materials from the model. Woodwork bill of material differs from the Autodesk Inventor bill of materials because we dig into the structure of each of the part and analyze the size of the workpiece as well as the size of the part regarding the grain direction, uh, oversizes, edge bending, and so on. So what should we do? Let's go for the woodwork bomb. Now we need to set up a template. As you can see, there's multiple templates that Woodwork ships with. So when the template has been selected, it's enough to just click on an Excel. Now what happens? Woodwork takes the data from the replacement scheme that we applied in the previous steps and now runs the output through a template. Managing how the templates look like, we can get the different results. However, it's too big question for this video session, that's why we will skip this step. Now we can open an Excel. As you can see, there's multiple spreadsheets. So we can start from the product structure. Here we see the product structure grouped by sub-assemblies. So as you can see, cupboard components are shown in another group. Now we have a multi-layer boards, the desktop, which is shown like a set of separate boards. We have a complete part list, including purchase units. We have a separate spreadsheet for the cutting part list, which need to be cut out from the workpiece. In material summary, we get the totals, how much material we need to request from a supplier. That's basically it. So as you can see in Woodwork for Inventor, 3D model is a single source of the data for BOM, drawings and CNC.